In this video, I'd like to talk about finding the midline of sinusoidal functions when we are given a picture of its graph. And for this problem, we are told a minimum point on this trigonometric function, and we're also told the amplitude of the function. And we need to remember the definitions for midline and amplitude. So let me first make a little bit of space and we can paste in a picture reminding ourselves of those definitions. And from this picture, we can see that the midline is just the horizontal line that goes exactly through the middle of the sinusoidal function. And remember that a sinusoidal function could be either the sine function or the cosine function. And the amplitude is just the distance from the midline to either the maximum point or that distance from the midline to a minimum point. And the period is essentially just the interval on which the function repeats itself. And every period, we would essentially just get this wave here or this section of the wave, and that would repeat infinitely many times. Now, for this problem, we don't need to involve the period. We just need to find the midline, given knowledge about a minimum point and the amplitude. And we're told that the amplitude is 5.3. And if we knew the midline, it's likely somewhere through here, maybe a little bit up, but the distance from the minimum point to that midline, wherever it is, that would be this amplitude, this 5.3. So in other words, if we take this minimum y value and we add the amplitude to it, if we add this 5.3, then we will get back the y value of our midline. So let's do that. We can take minus 6.5 and we can add 5.3 to this. And what we'll find is that this y value of the midline would be equal to negative 1.2. And if we draw that in, we can visually confirm that it does make sense. Negative 1.2 would be roughly right about here and it would go all the way across the function and it should cut it exactly in half and we can roughly test this by also looking at a maximum point since we know the midline if we add the amplitude we can find the maximum value if we take this minus 1.2 and we add 5.3 to that or if we take 5.3 and subtract 1.2, we would get back 4.1. And we can see that, roughly speaking, it does look like the maximum values are right about 4.1. So this midline does make sense. But the key idea is that the midline is exactly in the middle of both the maximum and the minimum points and that the amplitude is the distance that goes from that midline to either the maximum or to the minimum point. 